the Honourable Leader of the Opposition. Liberal inflation has sent food, housing and gas prices soaring. Oh, let's go, Pierre. There's one substance that has gone down in price by 90 percent. Powerful opioids. After the Prime Minister announced 100 million... I'm sorry, I'm going to interrupt the Honourable uh, uh, Leader of the Opposition. He didn't break any rules. From the top, we're just getting some distractions from all over. From the top, please. Oh, come on. Order. While the Prime Minister has sent inflation for gas, heat, and grocery soaring, there is one product that's actually come down in price. Powerful opioids. The Prime Minister has spent $100 million on so-called safe supply. One global news reporter went into the street to find out where all these drugs are going. Turns out they're being resold to other addicts in order to raise the money to buy deadly fentanyl. Will the Prime Minister cancel the dollars for drugs and instead put the resources into treatment for addicts? The Honourable Minister for Mental Health. Mr. Speaker, we are pretty fed up with this fight against evidence-based programs that actually are saving lives. We cannot allow the Conservatives to take us back to the failed ideology of the past. Even Harper's advisor, Ben Perrin, thinks they're speaking nonsense. Whoa, lady, chill. Chill. Who looks like she's going to have a heart attack or cardiac arrest? The leader of the opposition... The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. Speaker. Order. Order. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. No common sense. The evidence is seen in the tragic faces of addicts who lie overdosed on the pavement in the downtown east side of Vancouver where after this Prime Minister spent $100 million handing out free drugs to addicts, he has led to a 300% increase in overdoses. Will he stop giving dollars for drugs and instead follow my common sense plan to put the resources into treatment and recovery to bring our loved ones home drug-free? The Honourable Minister. People are dying. Save. One second. Order. 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 One person at a time in this chamber, please. The Honourable Minister. 46,000 overdoses have been reversed in in safe consumption sites. That member says that he will stop that. I want him to speak to the parents of the people that would have been lost if there weren't safe consumption sites and safer supply. This is ridiculous. The Honourable Member... (laughs) Let's go, Pierre. Oh, this is getting out of hand. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. That people are dying because that minister and this Prime Minister are flooding the streets with dangerous drugs and killing these people. Since Amen. in this policy, there has been a 300% increase in drug overdose deaths. 30,000 people have lost their lives. Investigative journalists have shown that the drugs that she is funding with Canadian tax dollars are flooding the streets and being sold for a dollar a Order! 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 I'm hearing you yelling on both sides. Please. The Honourable Member for... Uh, sorry, the Honourable Leader of the Opposition. From the top, please, so we can hear the whole question. And I don't want to hear any screaming or shouting in the background. And then we can hear an answer as well. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. People are dying because the policies of this Prime Minister 
are killing them. He is, his policies are flooding the streets with drugs that now go for a dollar a hit. You can buy 26 hits of hydromorphin, which is an analog to heroin, for $30, Mr. Speaker. This is dr these are drugs paid for by Canadian tax dollars under a program by this government that has led to a 300% increase in drug overdose deaths. Why won't they get some common sense, end dollars for drugs, and put our people in treatment? There you go. The Honourable Stop funding drugs. Oh. All right, here comes cardiac arrest lady. Order. Order. The Honourable Minister for Mental Health. Covered in cat hair, probably. Alive long enough to get treatment. People are dying because of a toxic drug supply. Safe supply allows people to stay alive long enough. It means that in the CMAJ study just yet... Order, order, order. Please start from the top, the same courtesy I gave to the opposition leader. People have to stay alive long enough to get to treatment. People are dying because of the toxic, tainted drug supply. When people are on safe supply, the CMAJ article yesterday talked about less drug use, less overdoses, less, less petty crime. This is an evidence-based project and, and program that it meets the test Look at the bobblehead in the back. in science, not a journalist who only will speak to the people who, who disagree with him. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. Let's go, Pierre. The theory is that if you flood the streets with hydromorphin, an opioid, that, that, that then people won't use more dangerous fentanyl. The reality... Okay, we, we want quiet on both sides. We want to go back and forth. I just want everybody to take a deep breath, and we want to hear the question as well as the answer. The Pierre's going to give her a heart attack. The top, please. The theory is that if the Prime Minister puts $100 million of hydromorphin on the streets, that people won't use more dangerous drugs. The reality in both reports from the National Post, the Globe and Mail, and the data from the ground is that the addicts are taking the hydromorphine, selling it to kids, taking the profits to right. buy fentanyl, dying right. of overdoses. The kids then get bored of the hydromorphine, and they take deadly fentanyl. That's why people are dying. Will the government stop the policies that are killing people and put our people in treatment instead? <laughs> That makes a lot of sense. Deputy. Stop funding drugs. Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, some things are just beyond the pale. Our Minister of Mental Health is one of the most respected members of this House. Unlike the leader That's of the opposition, true. who is a career politician and has done nothing else, she is a doctor. She devoted much of her life to delivering babies and bringing forth life. I heard the Leader of the Opposition shout across the aisle, you are killing them. Shame. That is shameful. Yes, you are. Entirely unacceptable. You're giving them drugs to then kill themselves and overdose. It's not complicated. Thanks for watching the video to the very end. If you'd like to subscribe, I've made it very easy. You can do so by clicking right there. If you'd like to watch another House of Commons highlight clip, you can do so by clicking right there. And if you'd like to subscribe to my main channel, Mr. Sunshine Baby, where it's all Canadian political news, then you can do so by tapping up there. Um, subscribing is absolutely free. There's a button down below that says subscribe. If you'd like to join and become a member and financially contribute, you could do so as well. Thank you so much for watching this video.